question. Dear colleagues, we have come here. You can take some seats. There are some ten t uh, seats. We have brought you here just to tell you about the implementation of the federal project combating with oncological diseases, what has been done, what we are going to do in the future and in the subsequent years. These matters are highly important because this activity involves significant financing, including that from the federal budget, and they expect unprecedented results from us, which we'll have to attain by all means. For general understanding, we have about 14 national projects. Please don't take pictures. The organizers will give you their presentation. The two of them are of key significance uh, at the moment. National Project Healthcare, comprising eight federal projects and National uh, Project Demography. National Project Healthcare comprises eight federal projects. Four of them are the main one and four accompanying ones, service projects. And we are related practically with all the projects because uh, the development of the system of primary care is related with the uh, dispensation and screening programs from the contingent uh, that we collected due to implementation of a dispensary program uh, based on the new order. And we formed a contingent with which will work. Uh, combating uh, with uh, cardiovascular diseases is also related to us because uh, these are alternative figures of mortality combating with oncological diseases. We are going to do it in the next six years and development of children's health care also shouldn't be discarded. Besides, the quality management of medical aid will develop uh, the, in the oncological service under the federal program. Ensure providing medical organization with skilled professionals is one of the painful issues of oncological service and creation of a unified digital counter that will be presented by Inna Viktorovna is among the priority events of the federal project that will show us what number of patients need our assistance, how we're going to forecast the extent of medical aid, the numbers of drugs, how we're going to develop the number of beds, our personnel, and so on, and plan our activities. Development of the expert of medical services, which is a new trend. It will be discussed by Anastasia Yurivna, and uh, it will also be interesting. Thus, since our theme is monitoring, I will come back to the monitoring system and to reporting of the federal project. But my present task is to tell you how we implement the events, activities under the federal project and our near future control points. In the federal project, we have several control points for 2019, which we have to fulfill on the uh, day. The next uh, control point is the 1st of July, and we expect to approve a regional pro uh, program of combating oncological diseases from you and the document regulatory normative act, government uh, resolution of the region that approves the regional project and uh, covering a letter in the name of Evgeny Kank. And that should be done uh, before the 1st of uh, July, so the deadline is uh, June 28th. A telegram signed by Tatiana Vladimirovna Yakula will be sent to the regions uh, clarifying it. Further, monthly, we expect from each oncological service, from each management body of the healthcare uh, office, of the, uh, the regional project combating oncological diseases, from each office we expect a report in electronic form. Uh, under the application six. If you don't know, application six is a list of equipment uh, purchased under the federal project. 
uh, it should be indicated what you have already purchased. Report on the Center of Outpatient uh, Oncological Aid with the name of medical organizations at which uh, that center is opened. The time limit for opening the requisites of the Normative Regulatory Act on setting up the center and planned or if you have uh, opened it, actual need in uh, the staff and colleges and nurses. The indicators of reports uh, on expenses in the electronic budget uh, that concerns uh, cash movement or on key points, unfortunately, Information of the events under the federal project combating oncological diseases is not completed in electronic budget. We have a lot of questions. That's why we cannot complete uh, our uh, set of activities. At the regional level, uh, we uh, cannot uh, complete these activities because uh, soon uh, amendments may be made to the federal project combating oncological diseases related with redistribution of the funding. At this stage, non-completion of the formation of the events of the federal project is due to the fact that it was suspended by Ministry of Finance because there will be changes quarterly. We expect from you, according to uh, Appendix 3, uh, to uh, uh, to the treaties of your subject with Mr. Kamkin, uh, report on the activity of the center. You can provide the reports monthly in electronic form if you can do it, but you should do it quarterly, sending the report to us with a covering letter and each uh, page uh, uh, of the report and the letter should be authorized by the signature of the responsible person. The date is the same as given on the agreement, the 1st of July. And as to the work, uh, report on the work of your coordination center should also be reported on a quarterly basis how the project is realized annually annually will uh, make a report at the federal level as to how we implement the organization methodological support of the regions in implementation of the programs. From the 1st of April, we set up a coordination center. I'm the head of the center, and that center has to answer all your questions which you might have when implementing the federal project and regional programs. I'll discuss uh, who is responsible for which trend. We have under our activities to engage not only in methodological support of your activities, implementation of your regional program, but also make proposals on the changes to the federal project to, reach to regional programs. If we see that some activities are not efficient or additional financing or a distribution of the funds is necessary, we have to tell about that and the proposals will be approved by the governmental resolution and will be amended. So. Please uh, listen to me. The program that we have written now, Combating Oncological Diseases, which will approve by a governmental resolution of the entities of the Federation, will not uh, uh, will be uh, changed in the next uh, five, six years. We'll make amendments to the federal project and uh, to your regional change uh, programs. At least once a year, you can make amendments, including those related with financial obligations. Besides, we'll prepare information analytical materials for the ministry, for the government, and other stakeholders, and for the public at, at large, how the federal project is implemented, because it is important and interesting. Some control points of the first quarter, or the first half a year, have been met already. For instance, we have collected a regional project of regional programs. Some subjects were quite responsible and sent five, six versions of regional programs. As a result, we received 85 high-quality finalized projects that are currently under approval. 
to these regional programs. You could make and should make amendments because it is difficult to determine for the next six years where the center should be opened, how it will uh, work. The patients has to be changed. In these six years, we'll have an increased contingent, so that will need certain finalization. In place of the coordination center, uh, we'll uh, go to each entity of the federation. We have to visit each uh, region. One uh, person will be from the methodological support department, the other from the analytical department, and we'll locally see how the federal project is implemented locally and probably will be useful to you. Uh, uh, our task was formulated by the health ministry to collect the best practices implemented by the subjects, for instance, such as control, electronic control and routing in Svidlov region, electronic system which you know, and the similar practices will be circulated to cover the other regions will explain how it should be done because we have an ambitious goal and without any uh, structural changes it would be impossible to reach that goal. We come back to monitoring of indicators. We have the main indicator, reduction of mortality, or death rate, and three additional indicators. We debated with the ministry that these monitoring should not be monthly. On the basis of the data, it is difficult to take a managerial decision or such indicators as a share of the patients so that were recorded for five years and more. We cannot monitor them each five years, but we didn't manage it. So we invented such indicators which of the, and the figures are in cancer register. Now we are finalizing the system and uh, cancer register uh, is a cancer register that will fill in these indicators automatically. All the indicators are filled in in electronic form. They shouldn't be put on paper and authorized by the head of uh, the uh, healthcare body to the coordination system that will be an information system. A responsible person will click on it and add data, and no other activity will be done by him uh, during the month. We showed these indicators on the slide to avoid errors. There is no share of patients recorded for more than five years. There is no annual uh, lethality. These are specific fi uh, figures from cancer register for avoiding errors so that our uh, data would coincide with the date of the reporting form. The persons who will be responsible for monitoring, monitoring uh, promised to make an information superstructure uh, to the cancer register that will calculate and compute automatically. Monitoring of uh, uh, opening the centers of outpatient aid the opening of those center or top, as we call it, is priority activity of the federal project. Yeah. It is a, uh, emphasis is placed on it by the state Duma. The ministry is a popular front. So if you open top of that center, you should be ready. That coordination center will come to you, Mr. Kankin, Ilya Shelkrot, and other stakeholders, Popular Front, and so on, and will see whether the concept of your center complies with the concept proposed by the health minister in the letter that was sent with clarifications on behalf of Tatiana Yakovlevna. Have you received the letter, all of you? Who has not received the letter? Anastasia Yurivna? Anastasia Yurivna, please. Uh, will send that letter to you. It clarifies the main issues related with opening and activities of TAOP that has to pr be provided for extensive uh, medical aid and financing for the activity of uh, center and tariff agreement, digital counter of including the center of outpatient aid, and some other issues uh, which are quite essential. As to monitoring of TOP, the responsible employee is the same a person who collects analytical data, and I will show him later. As to the reporting form, you can see that 
the mandatory names of the medical institutions should be organized. That is the form of report, Appendix 3 for 2019. You will be, uh, we will be grateful if you indicate it for all six years that you plan. Eston colleges and nurses and uh, completion with personnel. This is a request of Tatiana Simeonova, who is dealing with providing personnel that the regions should show in addition to the needs that showed uh, earlier in oncologists, they should show the needs uh, of oncologists for the centers. So uh, for the, there should be a target program for training oncologists to meet their needs. So it is important that you show it. Uh, the next uh, point for submitting quarterly report is uh, July 10th. The more precisely you calculate, the greater is the probability that these doctors will be sent to you. And equipment, uh, regulatory acts that regulate the equipment of medical institutions under the federal program and re-equipment is under the intra-budgetary transfer sent by the healthcare ministry uh, to the, uh, the health uh, managing bodies of the regions and your ministers, departments and committees send the money to organizations so that you would be able to buy what is necessary as to what is given in Appendix 5 or if you have saving at the stage of procurement, something else. A lot of questions is also asked about it. Now legitimate is Appendix 5 that was concluded in February and March. Within 10 days in February, after signing the agreement with Kampkin, we understand that there are errors in planning, technical documents, technical errors, saving of the budget and other factors, and so you can rethink and buy other objects of medical purpose and equipment which you need. This can be done in the near future. You will receive a letter signed by Tatiana Vladimirovna as to how that procedure will be supported. However, medical organizations will uh, receive a right once in a quarter, probably uh, will uh, make uh, two amendments uh, to Appendix 5 in the future. This should be done. You might write uh, any equipment uh, which is needed uh, except the equipment that has already been uh, purchased uh, under Order uh, 56N. So that will uh, be in regulation in the near future instead of position 52. Another position will be opened, another clause will be added. As to reports, we have 154 organizations that are re equipped in 2019. And they uh, purchase uh, almost 4,000 units of medical equipment. Please announce your organizations to the auctions. Do not wait for the additional agreement. If you are sure, uh, please uh, put that information on the auctions. We uh, spent uh, little money now. We uh, could spend only uh, uh, 10 billion for drug therapy. If we don't receive the money for equipment, that will be really a problem. Monitoring of the events of the federal project, what concerns the equipment, this, uh, how that form would look in electronic reports. I will give you all the forms. It will be available. It was in the letter uh, by Yakulis sent to the regions. So. We monitor the date of inclusion into the procurement schedule, the date of placement of the auction, number, number of con contract conclusion, and as to the repairs of the premises and preparation of the premises at the expense of the regional budget. This is a money for equipment is planned only for purchasing the equipment. You cannot use them to repair the premises. Premises are repaired at the expense of the medical organization original budget. Then the delivery date and commissioning date and so on. Another important thing, change in the routing. There is a hazard that uh, when re-equipping medical institution, replacing one CT by another CT or, or gamma therapy installation, if it is replaced instead of an outdated one, there will be a collapse with the patients. The patients will have no possibility to get 
medical aid uh, or uh, diagnostic manipulations will be impossible. So we wrote a reference to the document confirming the correction of the root of the patient. Changes are given, enclosed in PDF format. Please note that monitoring of the use of equipment procured under the federal project will be made not only by the ministry, but also by Ross Drafnadzor. The decision has been taken. It will be one of the amendments to be made to the federal project. Besides, no time left. The right of using the equipment will have the Popular Front and some other NGOs. So that it will, uh, there will be no idle time. Dmitry Sergeyevich is uh, responsible for that form of report or uh, report on the centers. You can contact him. I won't dwell on it in detail. We shouldn't make errors in the report to, on application six, appendix six. It shows they actually purchased equipment. Everything should be clear uh, from the first to the tenth date. Uh, no uh, amendments should be uh, made to that form of reporting. And there should be a signature, a seal of the authorized person. This is Appendix 6. How do we provide reports to the Ministry of Health so that they will be a part of electronic document turnover? If they are submitted through the expedition. If you don't have uh, electronic direct form of uh, uh, interaction with the Federal Ministry, only physically uh, sending by Korea or the Post of Russia, we ask you to provide reports uh, to Posey uh, Menstraff, uh, Oncology Admit, Chelnikov and Krylova, the persons responsible for getting the reports at our coordination center. It is also clear. If you have sent by email a report, this is not legitimate. You should do it through the document of uh, electronic document turnover with the uh, Ministry of Health or physically the letter will be received through the expedition of the ministry. Another thing that is important, I would like to warn you that we place uh, the uh, governmental structures and uh, public organization uh, place major emphasis on our implementation of our federal uh, project. Twice a week, I uh, prepare a reference on implementation of the federal projects and on federal districts as to what you are buying, how do you plan to set up centers. Therefore, be attentive if you write for 2019 six centers, you shouldn't send 15 in one month and next month five or seven, because it goes directly to the government and you'll have to explain why you have planned seven and then 15 and then seven centers again. So be ready, you have to explain. For 2019, we have an agreement between your subjects and Mr. Kamkin and any amendments related with replacement of medical organization on the basis of which center will be set up replacement of the medical organization to be re-equipped in 2019 requires an additional agreement. Be attentive, please. The next agreement in all probability will be concluded for three years for 20 uh, uh, 2020 to 2022, please plan it seriously. Irina Vladin, you have no time left. I'm finishing another important issue analysis of mass media and social networks. Dear colleagues, please tell your management bodies of healthcare that they should take into account what is written about your medical services, drugs, and colleges in mass media and social networks, because the team is monitored by the government. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Irina Vladimir. I understand that you have a lot of questions. Let us leave it for the discussions. Otherwise, we'll have no time.